Hello there besties, welcome to the channel where today we're gonna talk about Sidious. I mean, how much cool and evil can you get? One of my favorite Sith Lords and bad guys in general of all time. I would say him and Vader are tied in my mind. I just can't choose just one of them. Who's your favorite bad guy of all time? Is it you? Is it me? Let me know down below in the comments. However, today we go past Order 66. The dark times had just begun and the Empire had almost killed every single Jedi that was serving the former Republic. Some did survive. In fact, in Legends material, it is cited that almost 100 Jedi survived and went into hiding. Some were never found again and some were killed or captured. One of these Jedi Masters was Begor Sadet. Prior to the destruction of his order, Sadet was considered one of the finest lightsaber duelists within the Jedi Order. When Sidious executed Order 66, the Jedi Purge had begun. At that moment, Sadet's clone squadron moved in to kill him. He was so skilled that only with his lightsaber he did what most Jedi couldn't. Sadet took out the entire squadron all by himself and then he went into hiding. Unfortunately, Sidious's reach was far more powerful. In the end, his hiding was futile. He was indeed captured by the Empire, imprisoned and almost starved to death. Now Palpatine wanted to have some fun. The Emperor summoned five Jedi that he had captured to appear before him. One of them was Jedi Master Sadat. He was forced to his knees alongside four other captured Jedi before the newly christened Emperor. Surrounded by stormtroopers and royal guards, Palpatine offered the Jedi their lightsabers, which understandably sparked hope amongst the captives which Palpatine knew all too well. He ordered the captives to duel each other to death However, in his twisted mind, Palpatine knew that they would attack him instead. They just couldn't resist, and in fact, that's exactly what they did. Sidious <laughs> laughed as all five Jedi lunged toward him. Now consider this, Mace Windu went to arrest Palpatine with three other Jedi Masters. In the following attack, Sidious killed three Masters almost immediately. In the Revenge of the Sith novelization, it is explained that Sidious's speed was overwhelming. In fact, when seen by a normal person, all they would see is lightsaber flashes and then death. No movement from Sidious whatsoever. That's how fast he actually was. Keeping this in mind, the unfortunate Jedi prisoners at that time had no idea what they were facing. This was no ordinary force user. In an instant, Sidious ignited his lightsaber and with one swift stroke, he killed three Jedi as if they were nothing. Sadet goes on to say that he had never seen such skill and such speed. He gave them hope and then took it away immediately. After witnessing this, Sadet would have no other choice but to serve Palpatine, a being with such supreme power and it shows that even after becoming what he ultimately wanted, Sidious would never let up. Given the chance, the Sith Lord would dominate any force user that dared to oppose him. It gives us an idea of why Vader never dared to challenge him one on one. But what are your thoughts on Palpatine's supreme power? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts. And lastly, thank you guys so much for watching. Alright Star Wars fans, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day my friends and in closing, don't forget, may the force be with you always.